Hello friends, my name is Sanjay Singh and I'm your sales coach. Many a times when in the course of talking to the customer, we find that the customer is convinced with me, the customer is convinced with my product, with my services, but the customer doesn't seem to be convinced with the credibility of my company. Maybe the customer is interacting for the first time with me or my company, or maybe my marketing or advertisement have not yet reached the customer. So customer always raises this question of trust. You know, many a times in my sales career, career, I have encountered this question where the customer says, Sanjay, I am very good with your product. I love the way you showed all the benefits of your product to me. But now that I'm interested in buying your product, I'm not too convinced whether I can trust your company or not. And the moment this question comes to you, how do you handle him? Because this is not about you. This is also not about your product. This is about the brand, about the company that you represent. In my initial part of my career, I used to feel that maybe the brand that I'm working for is not such a famous brand. Hence, the customer is asking this question, but I was wrong. I subsequently went across and worked with some of the biggest brands in the world. And even when I was representing a brand called McKinsey, people still used to ask that, how do I trust you? How do I trust your office in this part of the world? I know McKinsey is a big company, but how do I trust whether the services of McKinsey is great in this part of the world or not? Friends, learn it in a scientific manner that when the customer raises the trust question, don't try to answer the trust question by pleading, begging, or by trying to give an answer Ask the customer in return, what are your expectations from a good vendor? What are your expectations from a good service provider? Because when we ask this question, we kind of understand what is the customer expecting out of us? And if the expectations of the customer is something that I can fulfill, I have crossed the question, I have crossed the bridge. So next time when a customer raises a trust question to you, don't feel bad, don't try to defend, don't try to prove that you are trustworthy because this is not the time to prove that you are trustworthy or not. This is the time to understand the customer's expectation vis-a-vis -vis trust. And once you have done that, I'm sure your sales call will move towards a sales closure. So next time you get the trust question, I'm sure you will handle it better. Enjoy selling.